Well, good morning, folks. We are back. Um, uh, beer reviews with Kyle. I'll step aside here. Uh, show some people. I got an arm injury, a fractured humerus on Tuesday night. I've uh, been under the weather with this. Uh, ceiling a little bit. Still very, very sore. Cannot move my left arm. I'm left-handed. But you know what? That's not going to deter me. Deter me from drinking good craft beer. Uh, here on a Saturday morning, when a big windstorm is here, you can see out here it is whirling, 30 to 40 miles per hour, heavy rain in the forecast. It is 11 a.m. here. Game day Saturday. I want to do a quick shout out to Cole Rain and Menor. The public boys have won. First time in my lifetime I can say this. No Catholic team in Division One Ohio football is going to be in the championship game as Menor, uh, Pickerington Central, and Powell and Tennessee Liberty remain. So cheers to Menor, Cole Rain, and all the other two schools to knocking out the Catholic all boys schools. But here we are. I'm rambling on for our tasting delights and sampling pleasure and tasting lunch today. We have a a winter seasonal release from the Sam Adams Boston Beer Company. This is the White Christmas Ale. Uh, Mom stopped out and picked up a six-pack of this last night. It's the White Christmas, hazy, crisp, and bright. I tried this last night, and I'm going to tell you, folks, this is actually a really, really, really good beer. I was really impressed with this. Had this before. Uh, you know, it's a wit beer, and to me, that's not a... I don't know why it's a Christmas Ale, but I do like it because it's a, it's a, it's a twist. This is by no means a Christmas Ale. It has orange peel... Some coriander, maybe some uh, clove in there, some carmine as well. But hey, you know what? I kind of like it because it's not the traditional Christmas spice beer. It's, all, it's throwing us a curve. It comes out in that sampler pack and in that winter pack. So here's your Sam Adams bottle cap there uh, on this one. This is a good beer. Uh, you know, we had it last night. I don't know if you can see the pour here with my arm. I'm going to get the pour going. I tried one of these last night. It is actually really spiced, really good. It's not. This is not one of this that's going to wow you. You're not going to be... I'm not going to run to you and say, oh my god, you got to try this. But at the same time, if this is available, give this a shot. Maybe a single bottle. A six-pack was, I think, nine bucks, eight ninety-nine. So even a six-pack's not killing you. Not the perfect pour there, but it'll do good. Head'll head this pick quick. No Sam Adams. I have some Sam Adams glass there, but of course, at my parents' house, banged up. We stick with the game. This new old Uinta glass that is becoming the mainstay here. Uh, the particulars on the beer here, 5.8% alcohol by volume, so not bad at all. And the IBUs are eight. Uh, like I said, I've had this maybe even four years past. Uh, it says it's good till May of 2018. So pretty good on that. Uh, Boston Beer Company. You know, Sam Adams, I was telling some people last night, Boston Lager Oktoberfest I do like, but they have some one-offs. The Cherry Stout I really love on draft. That's a great beer. But they have some one-offs in these seasonal packs that are pretty decent beers. Somebody, I was going through my old beer, my beer log last night. I've logged 105 of them. When that's out, I'm going to keep that current. I'm up to about 106 now. I think this is my 137th review. And I'm going to get that log current. But uh, just to see what I've done. I'll do seasonals every year. But as far as mainstay beers, you know, I don't know if I'll get to that every year. But this one I'm going to review. Uh, there's the head, the pour. Again, five point. It's definitely a wit beer. Not a traditional Christmas head. But I kind of like that because it's not... It takes away from the, the everyday... You know what you get in Christmas sale. So let's say cheers to the birds at Sam Adams and go blue game day. We're less than an hour from kickoff up in Madison, Wisconsin. And you know, I actually like the Badgers. Uh, if they won for today, I'm not a. I have all utmost respect for Wisconsin. Paul Chris, seeing his dad, is a great man. And I like the state of Wisconsin. Just not when they play my Wolverines. So cheers. Here we go. You know, that's actually spiced really good. Uh, reminds me a lot of the Holy Moses of Great Lakes. Probably not as well crafted because it is Great Sand Islands, but good flavor in here. Uh, right up front, good hints of orange peel. You know, some some car, uh, some cloves, some carminder. Uh, definitely, you know, a wit beer. But this is actually a pretty solid beer, my friends. I'm I'm ready to do the B plus, and I, I'm gonna go B. I may leg down to a B, but it's very drinkable, very pleasant. Five point eight. You know, it's not gonna not going to break your bank. It's not going to get you too toasted. Again, a little high spiked at 5'8", but as far as wit beers go, it's, it's very similar to the Great Lakes Holy Moses. I think the Holy Moses is a little better because it's just a little more balanced in the overall craft. Presentation-wise, all wit beers has dissipate, dissipate quickly, so that's not a problem. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of carbonation in there, but this is a very fine, solid beer. Nothing wrong with this beer. I think, you know, if you want to try one this is definitely worth a shot i'm not going to say you have to have it i'm not going to say it's going to change your life it's not sought after but i think it's very respectable one more sip here it 
See, that's the thing. It's very good up front, but it doesn't finish. It just finishes almost like a Miller Coors Light on the finish. It's spiced up front. And that's, I think, the problem with a lot of Santa Ana's beer. They are spiced. They are what they say they are, but they don't finish. You know, you're drinking a Great Lakes. This has a little more malt backbone. This is lacking that, but I still think this is a really good beer. I think, actually, I'm, I'm going to let all my beers warm up because my mom, I picked this up at Meyer, had it last night, and it was still cold but warmer. This was out of the fridge, so not as good as a few degrees warmer. Still very good. I, I'm going to rate this a B. Uh, I would try this if you're out and about uh, drinking some good beer. So under the weather, not going to work for a week and a half. Going to still do some beer reviews on the side. Uh, it's going to drop 20, 30 degrees here in the next couple of hours is that wet, with that weather front moving in. But uh, cheers, everybody. The game day is Saturday. Go blue and try white Christmas. Uh, if you like wit beers and you like orange peel, it's a decent beer. I don't think you'd be disappointed if you like that style. So uh, Sam Adams, again, still making some some solid beer. You know, I, I really kind of get offended when people knock Sam Adams because, you know what, they're just a mainstay. I mean, there's better beers out there, and it is Sam Adams, and they have been overtaken. But I still think they produce some decent beers. And, again, this is what I call training wheel beers or virgin beers for people that are into craft beers. This is a good switchover beer. So B plus for me. That's going to do it for this review. Uh, wishing everyone the best of goodbyes and uh, staying dry out there as the rain moves in. Also, uh, go blue. Big dab in Madison. Can Hardball finally get a signature win? He has not gotten one yet. You know, everybody talks about the Florida victories and the bowl games in Florida. That's great. Fine and dandy. But those Florida teams are not great. This Florida team is not great. So this is his signature chance. This week and next week, you'd like to see him win both at least one. If he can win one of these, even if they lose Ohio State, if they can win this game or even if they can beat Ohio State next week and lose today, be competitive today too. If they lose 35 to 30 today, I'm okay with that. Or 21-17, you know what, I'm happy. I don't want to see a 42-13 game. I don't want to see 21 nothing early. And I think with Wisconsin's offense, it can't pass. Michigan should be able to stay in it because they can stop the run. I honestly think Wisconsin will win, but I think my Wolverines will compete. So hopefully they can get it done. Uh, see you folks, and we'll see you here this afternoon. Hopefully after a Michigan win. See you guys. Bye.